What's up guys, Mecha Ish here from TMNT, Out of the Shadows. We got Shredder, let's do it. Welcome back guys, I got another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows action figure review And we got the big bad himself, the evil Shredder And here you have the blister card packaging Which you can see it says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows You have some great artwork on the top right there uh, And you see a great image of the Shredder and how he will be appearing in the upcoming Turtles 2 movie Coming out this summer So... Good look there. You see his accessories. The Shredder. Oroku Saki. <laughs> Turn him to the side. Nothing going on in the side. I'm going to scan up here for you guys. And you can see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows. You have the same artwork of the four turtles on the top right. New York City, an old menace returns. New mutations arise. The ultimate showdown approaches. Our heroes must rise up again to save the city they love, even if it means exposing themselves for who they truly are. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and you have a great look at all the other figures in the line So stay tuned for upcoming videos guys. We're coming fast and furious with these turtles So make sure you subscribe. All right guys I got the shredder here taken right out of the packaging and this is how he will be appearing in the upcoming turtles 2 movie To be honest, I am NOT very impressed with this figure There seems to be a lot of paint applications missing that would definitely help this figure. I mean, when would paint applications not help a figure? But there's a lot of molded plastic going on here. And he does not look as intimidating and as formidable as he did in the first movie by Michael Bay. Where he was actually a super shredder. But this is just regular shredder. <laughs> I mean, Oroku Saki here. Just standard. Like I said, a lot of molded plastic. You can see the black... I do like that body piece, by the way, that armor that he has on there. And I appreciate the little silver paint apps that they did put on these buckles. And it's a very smooth looking job with the black. And you have, again, more silver painted there. You can see the shoulder pieces are just a molded gray plastic. You see his head, which, let's get up to the head here. Let's show you guys what I'm talking about. Now, take a look at that head sculpt, which is okay. I mean, whatever. We have the painted sides there, nice silver paint, but why is his forehead armor blade piece there, whatever you want to call it, why is that in a molded silver plastic and not painted silver? I mean, unless this is how Shredder is supposed to appear in the movie, eh, I don't know. I think that would have helped to figure out a lot. You can see the forms are painted and his shin guards down here are painted in a nice silver. Uh, but other than that, he has a little flesh paint flesh tone paint going on in his eyes there the little eye holes and then he has deep black eyes you know there's a lot of evil going on in the shredder so he just has his black eyes but it looks a little derpy to be honest but let's take a look at what else the shredder has going for him. maybe if we put some armor pieces on him he will look more formidable okay so the shredder here has two unpainted blades that attach to his forearms there so you can see it's just in a silver molded plastic and let me show you the clip right on. Put that one there. And put his other claw on the right forearm. So they clip on easily enough. And of course, you know, having blades on anyone is going to make you look that much more intimidating. But it's not really helping him that much. And then on top of that, the shredder comes with a gun. I mean, in no universe do I ever see this master ninja using a gun. Unless this in the movie is supposed to be some kind of pistol that maybe injects or shoots ooze to transform Bebop and Rocksteady. You can see that little piece right there, which maybe should have been painted green as a vial of ooze. I mean, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But let's attach that. He has two open hands here. Let's put that on. And it's not looking good. I don't. I do not like the shredder rocking a pistol. That doesn't look right at all. Ninjas don't use no guns. Yeah! <laughs> All right, guys, let's run down the articulation of the Shredder. So bear in mind, he is a master ninja, and he should be able to be posed in some dynamic poses, right? I mean, kicks and, you know, chops. Now we have head articulation, which is great. You know, he has a little pivot there, so he must be on a ball joint. You can see a little side tilting action, and he goes right to left. Doesn't really look, he can go as high as just looking face forward. But he does tilt down a little bit. So that's pretty good. Now, the shoulders. Take a look at this. He's on a shoulder hinge. And I love how there's a little articulation point 
on this shoulder armor here so that it does not impede the movement of his shoulders. So you have the hinge there, which is great, and you have a 360 motion. Now he has a single jointed elbow, so you can see. No rotation at the elbow, but a single jointed elbow. There's no forearm cut. Let's see. Now, I was playing with this earlier, and I'm going to see if I can do it for you guys. You see the little wrist cut, right? It looks like he should have a wrist rotation. Oh, man, I'm really nervous. I'm getting way too much resistance, and this goes for both wrists. Yeah. There's a gummy plastic, you know, at this joint, and I do not want to twist it off. I really am getting too much resistance, and I do not want to force it and snap his wrist joint off and snap his hand now, off. Now, let's take a look here. Now, this is Master Shredder, right? This is the Shredder. This guy can kick the turtle's butts. And... How are you going to tell me Bebop and Rocksteady, with their big guts, have waist swivel, and Shredder does not have any movement there, no waist swivel, no ab crunch, which I don't expect ab crunches on these figures anyway, on these Playmates figures, but no waist swivel for the Shredder? Come on. <laughs> anyway, we got a hinge here at the hip. You rotate it that way, and you get a side kick and a front kick. So it just depends on where you rotate this hip, where you want them to kick. And just like the turtles. Now we have here single jointed knee. And we have a rotation at the knee as well. Other than that, nothing really with the boot. So he is lacking a lot in articulation. All right, I have the shredder in front of his two favorite henchmen, Bebop and Rocksteady. And just so you guys can get an idea of how tall the shredder is, like I said, he's a little under five inches tall. He's just about as tall, if not taller, than Rocksteady on your right. But yeah, these three look great together. I mean, without Bebop and Rocksteady behind him, backing him up, does he look that intimidating? I don't know. Now I have Shredder in front of Bebop and Rocksteady, and they're really showing off on that waist swivel here, as you can see. Where Shredder, that's about as dynamic of a pose you're going to get the big bad evil Shredder. Uh-oh, Shredder, the turtles found out about your lack of waist swivel, and they have confidence now, so you're in big trouble. Thankfully, you have Bebop and Rocksteady. But, uh, yeah, guys, I had a great time doing this review. Unfortunately, I was a little bummed out, a little disappointed about this Shredder figure because of the lack of pain apps, because of the lack of articulation. But I'm glad to have him nonetheless because the completionist crazy person that I am. But, uh, guys, stay tuned. Subscribe for more videos. I have a ton more TMNT out of the shadow figure reviews to do i got a ton more tmnt figures all kinds of action figures coming your way so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out if you did enjoy this video please hit that thumbs up like subscribe comment and share you know what to do peace